So much going on today, but it's also the start of hurricane season and we're watching something out there. So Dave, what's going on with that? How worried should we be? Uh, well, right now we're just watching it. So again, beginning of hurricane season, I don't want to say be worried about this, but if anything, this could be a rainmaker for us as we headed to about a week from today. Right now, though, looking at the latest with the tropics, so everything else in the Atlantic is quiet. I take it down here to the Gulf of Mexico, and that is we are watching again this one area of low pressure. The remnants of what was Pacific Tropical Storm Amanda now sitting over parts of Guatemala and Mexico. Cluster of thunderstorms there is expected to slowly drift its way here into the Bay of Campeche or the southern part of the Gulf of Mexico over the next couple of days and then possibly work its way through the western part of the Gulf anywhere from Texas to Louisiana. So we can see where this potentially could go. So you'll see here the latest winds are at 30, moving north at 13, pressure 1,006 millibars. Now forecast models kind of really don't do much. They kind of spin it around and kind of chill out down here in the Bay of Campeche with warm waters and lower wind shear. That's why there is a chance for it to develop. Now, some models want to keep it down there. A couple others want to bring it into parts of northern Mexico, and a few also try to stretch its way north or here parts of Louisiana or Texas. It's way too early to get concerned about this, but something worth watching as we get throughout the rest of the week. Again, I don't really care to show modern hurricane models because they always go all over the place, but give you a general consensus this could kick its way northward here over the western part of the Gulf and possibly impact our area or back into Texas. By the way, this hurricane season is expected to be Act already have two named storms already, but Noah's saying 13 to 19, the Colorado State 16. Hurricanes about 6 to 10, and we are looking at major hurricanes around 3 to 6 because of an above average season due to the East Atlantic being above normal. Gulf of Mexico warmer than normal. Weak La Nina possible, which means you don't have a lot of wind shear, and this is all more favorable for storms to develop. So keep an eye on that as the week progresses.